Today we're going to be putting in a mixing valve. I'll show you how to put it in and why you'd want to put it in. Now the water out of a faucet shouldn't be any more than 120, but you may want the same water to go up to your washing machine and you may want your temperature in that higher. If you wanted your entire house to be 120, you could go to your water tank and turn your water tank down to 120. But of course, then it's got to be able to get through the entire house, so the furthest faucet might be a lot less in temperature. That's why the mixing valve is important. We're going to test the temperature of this water. Now with these temperature sensors, make sure that you keep the tip down. You don't want to tip it and let the water drain into the electronics. Right now we have 114, so we're not at 120, but I'm just gonna leave it here for a while and see what the max is. Okay, right here it's 121 degrees, and we can't go past 120, so that's the reason we want the mixing valve. Now it may have taken a little bit of time to get here, but you can clearly see it's 121. The mixing valve is gonna go underneath the sink. Here's our cold water right here, there's our hot, this will go right in the middle. We're gonna tee off the cold water, so part of the water will go up to the cold part of the faucet and the other part will go into the mixing valve. Shut off the water. Disconnect the water supply. And the cold. We're gonna use plastic pipe and compression fittings to put everything together. We'll put the nuts on, and then we'll put the compression fittings on. We'll attach the T, and we'll snug it up. We'll connect it to the cold supply line, and snug that up. We'll hook our faucet back in, snug it up. We're going to connect the cold side of the mixing valve to the cold water. We'll put the plastic pipe in and the compression fitting. We'll put the valve on. This hose right here is the hose that goes to the faucet. This would have been the hot water. We're going to be attaching it to the tempered water or the mixed water at the top of the valve. Connect the hot water to the hot water portion on the mixing valve. Because the pipe is flexible, we can just bend it in this 90 degree configuration. Turn on the water and check for leaks. Now with the valve in, we can adjust it back and forth to add cold water into the system to make sure that we don't go above 120 degrees on the hot side. So I've got the valve adjusted right here and the temperature's holding at about 114 maximum. We have it set to 114 and if we need to adjust that knob, we can just keep adding or subtracting cold water. So that's how and why you would install a mixing valve on your kitchen sink.